No talking, my wife. Hello and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode number 171, brought to you most Fridays at 12.05 Eastern Time. We're your hosts. I'm Anton. And I'm Marwa. Hi, Anton. Hi, Marwa. Well, today's tip is my favorite kind of tip. It's the kind that I had to do no prep for at all. You're doing all the work. So right. thank you for that. Um, but, um, but I have a timer on my side. I know we're in, uh, Talon is too cheap to, uh, to, to spring for a free timer on your laptop. Um, so I'll go ahead and run the timer on my machine. And why don't we kick it off? You can tell us uh, what we got going. I'm going to click start right now. No cheating today, Marwa. What do we got? Okay. So um, today, as you can see on my screen, I have an application with this particular page. This application was running on version Apex 23.1. So we did an upgrade to version 24.2. On this particular page, I have a URL, which is generated by the Apex Util Prepare URL function. And this is its value. And basically, we are opening this dialog page using a, a button with a JavaScript action, JavaScript code. And let me show you the code behind this. It's the eval function, and we are taking the value from this item of the URL. And you're just running that straight. Right. But Unfortunately, it was working on version 23, but it stopped working on version 24. So you show we me had 23? Does it, do you have a 23? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, this is the application on version 23.1, and we have the same code, and it's working here, and it stopped ah, working on version 24. And I can see already that the URL that it generates is different. Um, it is yeah. different, actually. And careful, careful Apex upgraders will have read every line of the Apex 24.2 release notes. And section 3.6 actually tells you this is going to happen. We've got a URL for it. We'll stick the URL on there. But, um, but nobody's reading every single line of these release notes. And, and, and then recognizing that, oh, this applies to my app. It's not until you test that you run into this. Um, so, uh, but, but if you look in there, it, it will give you a solution, right? So what's the solution that they tell you to do? Yes, the solution is actually to replace this JavaScript code by um, Apex Navigation Dialog. And we pass the value of the URL with some other attributes. But actually, this won't work on version 23. And the problem is that Well, and it won't work on 24 either until you add a parameter p plain URL, right, to get that, that URL to be plain. Exactly. We should add that parameter to the Apex Util Prepare URL the p plain uh, parameter as true in order to get rid of the first section of the URL. As you, as you can notice, it's different from this version, and this is the older right. version. It's, it strips that off. That's not in that part about put, passing p plain URL is not in the guide. So that's something that that is a tip that people will have to know. It's not written down. But Marwa, I understand you have even a better way. Yes, and the better way actually is to use the apex navigation dot redirect function, and all we have to do is to pass the value of the URL, and that's it. It and that work. one you, you're not passing p plain URL. You're using the other one, and the bon benefit of that is it generates all those dialog settings for you, right? So so you don't have to you don't have to exactly. hard code the size and everything. Yeah, that's great. Exactly, it takes care of everything. And well, show me that there code is one more time. Oh, go ahead. Show me that code one more time. And we have a minute and a half left. Okay, so we've okay. changed it to this. But here's the problem I have, Marwa. The problem I have is often I write an application and that same application needs to run on both 23.x and 24.2 and higher. And I don't want to have to maintain two versions of my application, I want the same code to run in both applications. I know this doesn't work on 23.1. The eval doesn't work on 24.2. How do I get one set of code that works on both? 
Yes, you're right, Anton, and it's often requested by customer on different projects because it's more effective. So there is an effective way to do it, which is to um, add an if statement to your code. If your Apex version is less than 24.2 or the most recent one for you, then you use the old code, else you can use the redirect, which is the new function that you added. So can you, can you make this bigger so everyone can really see this? Oh, so this apex.env JavaScript uh, object is super, super handy, right? That's the key. Yes. You need to be able to, how do we know what's in there? We can test it right here. I was going to share it. There it is. This is where we have an apex.env, and this is what we are using, the Apex base version. Okay, and you've got other things that you can reference in there as well. I love the file. You can get to your application files, your workspace files. Really good info in that apex.env. That's it. Five minutes, Marwa. Uh, you made it. Uh, we're good. Um, excellent. Well, And that's uh, why you can use the same code on both applications. It would be the same code, the same dynamic action. They would right, be so alive. you did it, right? So your button two yes. has the exact same code in both. Can you just show it? Can you show both of them work? So that's 23.2. You don't need to show the code, just, yeah. And yes. we'll believe you that you have the exact same code <laughs> in both 23.1 and 24.2. So. Great. All right, excellent. Um, so this week I do have what I think might be a recycled wisdom of the week. Uh, I think I've given this wisdom of the week before, um, but, it's worth it. It's worth a second time. So the weather's starting to get nice again. Um, it's the time when people are thinking about uh, about vacations. I highly recommend, and this is probably true outside of North America and, and the United States as well, but I highly recommend uh, that you get to a national park. Um, the national parks in, in the United States are incredible, um, but when you go to a national park, and again, I think this is recycled, when you go to a national park, they have a program called the Junior Ranger Program. You go up to any ranger, well, any ranger station, and you say, I want to participate in the Junior Ranger Program. And they're going to give you a little workbook. And it's geared towards kids. Doesn't matter. You're still going to love it. You should do it. If you have kids, do it with your kids. But don't just make your kids do it. Canada has that. Eh. And I think Canada actually has these the, the Junior Ranger Program as well. But don't just let your kids do it alone. And if you're an adult, don't worry if you don't have kids, you can do it as an adult too. Not only do you get, is it really a great way to, to learn more about the park, but you get really cool things. Look at this, it's a Junior oh. Ranger badge. Um, there's one, here's my other Junior Ranger badge. This is from Rocky Mountain National Park. You can see That's that. That's lovely. Um, and then I have Acadia National Park, right? And mind you, my kids have these, these, but these are mine. These aren't my kids. Um, so, so you participated uh, in those activities. You did. Absolutely. Absolutely. And That's at the end, fantastic. you have to give the Junior Ranger pledge. Um, wow. And so, so and, and I'll tell you, the Rangers, they're not going to let you slide. You better get all, you know, get that whole workbook done or you're not going to get your, your Junior Ranger badge. Um, wow. I like that a lot. And I love those type of activities, really. So when you come to the States, Marwa, we'll go to a national park together. Yes. Let me know when you're coming. So, okay. That goes for other folks too. Let me know when you're coming. We'll, we'll hit a national park. So, all right. That's it. Five minute tip. Um, if you like the show, like the show, do all the other stuff, uh, send a letter to your mom, tell her how much, how great the show is. See you next week, everyone. <laughs>